Hey guys, you know my network full screen, the one I'm a part of? Well, they just opened up a new hub channel and they want me to tell you guys about it. And it's called Callback. It's your number one source for new and original comedic voices. Check out this clip. Like most hardworking professional professionals, your appearance is key to your success. Honestly, how animals get their food. Is it good? It's so good. Click here around my head to subscribe to Callback for new and funny content every single week. Definitely worth the subscribe. Tell them Kalo sent you, all that good stuff. But enough with that. Let's get right into the vlog, guys. And today's topic is about dreams. And more specifically, my dream I had this past week that really was really deep. So let's get right into it. But first, you gotta roll the intro. Kalo, Kalo, they know, they know. Kalo, Kalo, they know, they know. Kalo, Kalo, they know. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Kalo here. Hello, motherfucker. <laughs> and I'm back and here with the vlog for you guys about a weird slash deep slash the deepest dream I've ever had in my whole entire life. I'm going to be reading this from my phone because I cannot like remember off the top of my head because that's why I wrote it down. But I posted it on my Facebook page. I'm not going to post my name on there, uh, but I'll actually uh, uh, screenshot what I posted and uh, you can see the exact post just in case I mess something up when talking. Okay, so here it goes. And if I start sounding monotone, I'm sorry. It's because I'm reading from my phone. And yes, this will be the first video where I'm actually reading from my phone and not looking really at the camera. So here it goes. No. Here's a dream I, that I had on Wednesday morning. It might sound weird because it was to me as well. Well, here it goes. The dream started with me on the Butte bus, which I go to college, and my mom picks me up from the stop because I don't have a car at the moment. I ask her a question because she looks weird like she's holding something back from me and we end up taking this long way home from uh, the street called Esplanade to a street called East Lassen. And before, uh, before we turn on my street, I see a whole bunch of items that reminded me of my childhood. I asked my mom, really, what's going on here? No answer except for, in time, you will see. So I go, okay, this is weird. And we continue on in my driveway. I see a sign saying, Kyle, this is all for you, with a big heart drawn on it. For some odd reason, Daystorm, aka Daystorm Power, was on my lawn laying out chains of gold fabric saying, Yo, what's up, world? I mean, yo, what's up, Kalo? Get ready to take a walk into the past. Another day, another challenge. So I walk inside of my house, and music is playing, and all my friends are there to escort me to the couch. I sit, and they play a tape. The tape plays, and a woman is is narrating. It's a voice that sounds somewhat familiar, but I can't put my finger on it. She says, Kyle, I have been holding this secret for so long. Here are some clues and stuff that you need, that you grew up with and loved. So, the cor uh, so of course the first thing I see is footage of me and my, uh, when I was a kid with my great grandpa that passed in 2001 before I moved to Chico. Next highlight is a lot of shows I grew up, such as Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Rangers, Rugrats, all those old 90s shows, game shows included. At this point, I'm crying my eyes out because whoever did the, whoever put this together did a beautiful job at it. Next thing I see is my time at ele in elementary school and my time there, you know. The girl says, remember this? And it's me being a DJ at the Friday lunch like I always did. I look down and notice an old dog stuffed animal that I had growing up as a kid that I named Mick, and some old Mighty Morphin Power Rangers wind-up toys, and the wind-up toys started to move from their boxes. With that girl's voice that says, come to me, I have something to tell you. So my, free, so my friends lead me on out the door in song singing Take On Me by Ha Ha, you know, the one that goes, take on me, take on me, take me. I get back in my mom's car and she's smiling big. I ask her, where to now? And she replies, son, I love you and I know you will love this. So I go along with it. She's playing my iPod, one of my favorite songs, Aqualung, uh, Strange and Beautiful. We arrive at this house that looks like I've been to it before and I'm thinking to myself, 
wow, this is amazing. As I get out of the car, I am greeted by a song and flowers. I walk to the door and it's open. I look in and it's the girl. And she says, do you remember me? I was like, this must have been the girl from the video. Mind you, her voice was the same. She was my age, 21. Five foot four, blonde hair, beautiful bright blue eyes that shine bright like diamonds. And she had a beautiful smile and a, and a beautiful body. I say, you look really familiar. How do I know you? She said, I went to school with you up until high school. I think back to myself, who must this be? She says, her name was Amanda. And she said, Kyle, I put all of this together to tell you something that I have been holding back since sixth grade. Kyle, I've had the biggest crush on you for a long time and I wanted to see if you would date me. I break down in tears again as I say, this is the, has been the most beautiful thing in my life that someone has ever done for me. You were just a very beautiful, beautiful woman. So yes, Amanda, I would like to accept your offer. Everyone screams and cheers for us and I get cha champagne sprayed. You know, like where they celebrate. I kissed the girl and it felt just right, like it was meant to be. She says to me, I got one more clip to show you that will put this puzzle together and make it complete. Just then, as that clip rolls, I know exactly why I remember her. She was one of my close friends in elementary school. The clip show was us playing handball together after school as the sun sets. The rest of the dream was just so beautiful and it made me never want to wake up. I was so happy. For once, it felt like it was a real life to me. Uh, as Even if I s typed this out at the time when I was typing it out, I am crying. But I woke up and I thought I only cried in the dream, but my cheeks felt like they had dried tears on them. Only wish that this would happen in real life. Who knows? Until then, I hope that dream comes back because it was so beautiful. I love all you guys. So that was the dream. Have you ever had something beautiful or deep, deep dream like that happen to you? If you remember it, or if you had had something like that happen to you, put it down in the comments below. Let me know. But yeah, that was like the deepest dream I ever had. It was weird, and my friend said I should share it with you guys, so that's what I did. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it opened up a new sense of how I feel and what I'm like. But anyways, if you like this video, make sure to give it a like. If you really like this video, you can also make sure you can subscribe to my channel, which is down below, and then also you can add it to your favorites if it's really, really good. Also, if you want to really, really help me out, you can share this video around to all your friends. Anyways, my name is Kalo. I give love, I give passion, I give friendship. But anyways, guys, it's your boy Kalo, or Kyle. I want to thank you for watching this. Have a great day. Um, all my social networking, all that good jazz, down in the description below. Thank you. I love you all. See you soon. Sometime next week. You never know when a viral's gonna pop up. I'll be on it. But anyways, guys, deuces. Love you all. And here's some people that want to say some nice things before I end the video completely. Yes, sir! Kyle! Peace! That's how you do it. Thanks, Kayla! So from Kalo. Thank you, Kalo. <laughs> What's going on is Deep Pride. You're rocking with my man Kalo. Shouts out to Kalo. Does everybody make some noise? Woo! Yeah, Kalo, you're watching Kalo. He's going to be the biggest thing. Watch out. And at the end of the day, haters make me famous, but I love my fans, so cue the outro and sing it, boys. Done 100